Welcome to the Windows Insider channel and this is our Facebook security tip number one. We've got several coming up today, several things we need to talk about on Facebook. But the first and the most obvious for some, but fairly not obvious for a lot of people, even I would say a lot of people actually are uh, negligent. They are actually uh, not taking the steps required to uh, stay safe. And of course, it has to do with your Facebook password. Your Facebook password needs to be complex and unique. That means don't use the same password for everything and on Facebook because if one site gets hacked then your fa your password is actually now out there and they're gonna try it on Facebook they'll try it everywhere they can so this is one of the first things and a lot of people are careless I can tell you one thing is that one of the uh, most frequent frequent ways that Facebook accounts get hacked is because people were careless with their password if you have a really good password even though there are other things you can actually use like two-factor authentication you already are putting your chances on your side so make sure that Facebook password is a random string of letters and numbers of punctuation upper lower case I know it's a pain in the ass we always I and I see that all the time people don't want to do that they, oh, I'm gonna forget the password or it's too complex to enter yeah but you know what that might actually mean that your account will not be one of those millions of accounts that got hacked over the past year simply because the password was just too bad don't use anything that could identify yourself you know don't put your birth date as a password I mean it's obvious that people could find out and especially if you got your birth date inside Facebook and everybody could see it it's even worse you know make it a complex password and you know what use two-factor authentication and we're going to show you how to do that two-factor authentication in a separate video where you need to go to to uh, do all of that it might sound obvious but um, a lot of people are very very careless with their passwords and what are the implications that's the other thing that people don't understand and don't necessarily um, you know think about by being negligent by not creating a secure password and a secure way of going to your Facebook account you are compromising the security of all your friends and your family and you might say well how's that well if a bad guy gets your password what they often do is try to actually pretend they are you and now they will either send junk that will try to lure your friends or family into uh, you know losing money and some some scam uh, it might be that uh, you're compromising your friends Facebook accounts because they're gonna do stuff that means all of the personal data that Facebook can share around apps around the different ways of doing things between accounts will be compromised it could even um, have them you know get a virus or a malware on your on their computer their devices you are not just the security of yourself you are part of the security of everyone that is your friend and your family on Facebook and it's extremely important to understand that you are putting yourself at risk you're putting everybody you know at risk why just because you're careless and you don't take the time to make sure everything's all right the interesting part of this is often I've heard people saying well you know I don't care if they uh, hack into my Facebook I'll I'll do another one yeah you're putting at risk everybody that you friended well first of all you might not understand the implications of 
you losing control of your account because losing control of your account might mean losing control of pictures you've taken, of things you've said. It is much more important than you might think. A lot of people think, well, it doesn't matter. It does matter, and it matters really, really a lot. And you got to stop thinking that it doesn't matter because, you know, I'm sure one day somebody's going to sue somebody else um, over the fact that their account was, you know, hacked because they were careless and it endangered other people. You know, this is a social media site. You have a social responsibility also. And that means keep your account safe with an amazingly good password. And don't use your browser's capability of remembering automatically the password to log in. Always log in and type the password yourself. I know it's rough. I know it's not always cool. But at least you're actually being safe and taking the time to, uh, you know, keep your friends and family safe. So the first step is about the password. Create a darn good password. The next step is going to be about two-factor authentication on Facebook and how it works. And that will add another layer of security to your account. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.